Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sam from 3D6 and I'm super excited about today's video because it's our first upload for the channel and it is an unboxing video. So we're pretty stoked. Got something here from Noble Knight Games. A good uh, online distributor with lots of used and older game stuff. If something's out of print, check there because they might have it. Box looks pretty well packed. It's got some fragile stuff stamps on it, a little bit of cosmetic damage, but I think whatever is inside is going to be okay. And if you read the title of this video, you probably know what's inside, so let's just go ahead and get this thing open. All right, so get this tape cut open without cutting myself and having to get another Band-Aid on my finger, which I'm sure you've already noticed at this point. All right, lots of packaging stuff. Let's get this out. Looks like this is pretty well packed. I'm super happy. All right, and look at that. All wrapped up in paper, nothing else in the box. That's empty, so let's get rid of it. This thing is very well wrapped up. Oh man. So far, A plus Noble Knight. Y'all are doing a great job with your packaging. Let's take a peek in here before I let y'all see it. Make sure that there isn't a packing slip with my name or address on it, and there isn't, so there it is. The chained coffin. Let's go ahead and get rid of that paper. Comes in a big plastic Ziploc. Wasn't expecting that. It uh, looks like it is in super good condition because this particular adventure is out of print. Oh man, that is a tight fit. Woo! Get that slid off, and there it is. Dungeon Crawl Classics, The Chained Coffin. Number 83, a mini campaign setting with three adventures and a spinning wheel puzzle by Michael Curtis. If you're familiar with the Dungeon Crawl Classics line, you're gonna know that Michael Curtis is one of their um, one of their more prominent writers, along with Harley Stroh and some of the other guys like Brendan LaSalle, Joe Bittman. Here on the back we've got some text featuring Paul Biggity, Mal Biggity, Big Inti actually, sorry. And it includes a bonus adventure, The Rat King's River of Death by Steve Bean. Retailed for $49.99 and that is actually what I paid for it. Being out of print and hard to find, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. We've got a beautiful blue Doug Kovacs cover with a chained up coffin, terrifying monster bug, and a dude battling to the death. Let's get this thing slid open and see what's inside. So right on top of the box we have the infamous puzzle, spinning wheel puzzle. This appears to be laminated. Oh, it's got the awesome, uh, this is the gold silver foil artwork for the uh, premium editions. Now we've got the spinning puzzle. I have no idea how to solve this yet, but we'll probably figure that out at some point. This feels like a brad, but I don't feel like little wings on the other side, but there probably are. That's super cool. Up next, this looks like it's going to be the map of the Shutter Mountain area. And there it is. Lots of cool stuff there. Looks like this is also a Doug Kovacs. There's his initial. One hex equals four miles. So these are relatively small hexes. Usually in most campaigns I've played, they're in the six to ten mile range. And now we're getting into the adventures. The Chained Coffin Companion. Sorry, that's not an adventure. This is going to be our setting book, basically. We've got some great art inside, as usual, per all Goodman Games products. Now we've got the adventures, the woeful caves under yonder mountain. Oh, and I might have just ruined something. So this is 83B, Michael Curtis Adventure. Got a sweet Kovacs map on the back, the Woeful Caves. Now we got Sour Spring Hollow. This is a level adventure, level zero adventure. Another Michael Curtis here. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and move this out of the way so you can see the six silver foil for the main adventure here, number 83. And it looks like it's got the uh, regular cover here on the back. And there's that image again. And here we've got the spinning puzzle wheel again also. This isn't gonna be a full on review, this is just an unboxing. Once we actually get a chance to play this, we're gonna do a little more in-depth discussion that's gonna be a little less uh, off the cuff as this unboxing video is. I don't know if you can tell, but I had prepared absolutely nothing to say, so I'm really just kinda of shooting from the hip right now. Almanac of Shutter Mountains. This looks like it's more source material stuff. Inspirational resources. Super cool. I've probably said that four times in this video. And looks like this is unexpected. That is very unexpected because I don't think this is supposed to be in here. 998th Conclave of the Wizards by Joe Bittman, a level 6 adventure. I wonder if this was a previous owner's who left it in the box for some reason. Maybe it was a Kickstarter um, little bonus that they paid extra for. Either way, I'm stoked, because that was completely unexpected. And that just about concludes the unboxing of The Chained Coffin by Michael Curtis, Dungeon Crawl Classics. If you liked this video, please do us a favor, like this, su subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell if you feel like it. We're going to be putting out a lot more DCC content in the future, and this is just the beginning. And they always say your first video is your worst video, so we're getting that one out of the way as fast as we can. So, with that, I'm Sam from 3D6, where we roll up like it's 1974. Catch y'all next time. Adios.